Uh, Kieran, for you, you know, on kind of the service side of it, how do you see the service customer kind of fundamentally change? Has their expectations of us changed, you know, because of COVID-19? I believe it's definitely changed. Absolutely. Again, a lot of fear and uncertainty from a customer's perspective, but also from a dealership perspective as well. Because you've got people at the dealership who are human beings, the same as you are and everyone else, who have families, who've got, who've got houses, who've got relations, have got lives outside of work, which they're concerned about based on the health risks, about carrying something with them that they might contract at work. And it's it's, it's scary and on, on many levels. Again, seeing, again, from the comfort of my own home, seeing what other dealerships, even though I visited a dealership yesterday, other dealerships, what dealerships are doing overseas with these big plastic face or plastic uh, or person's paneling in front of them and then another two, yeah. me- two meter gap in front of them as well. Again, that's, that's caring for the customer, that's caring for the situation. Again, it's going to be interesting to see how that mellows out in the coming months and whether we're still going to have to do all that on, for the rest of time. It's, it's very bizarre. Again, I'm hearing a lot about about cancellations of bookings, of no-shows, of people just literally not showing up for their appointment. And it's very, very difficult, as you guys will, will, will attest to, that you, you can't... How many technicians do I need today? How many service advisors do I need today? How much stock do I need today in my parts department for what's coming in? It, it, it's very, very bizarre. And, and, and to match that, it's not just about the dealerships, it's about the independent mechanical shops who are struggling as well, because their customers aren't calling them. And then obviously the knock-on effects with parts purchases from, from dealerships and from motor stores is significantly down, significantly. And as well as that, of there's, there's no cars in the road. Well, very, very few cars in the road. And when there's no cars in the road, there's no, there's no crashes, there's no bingles. So there's no parts being sold as a result of that as well, which puts a lot of stress on the, on the, on the panel game as well. 